Numbers and multiples go hand in hand. In fact, all numbers have endless sets of multiples. So what makes multiples special? The GRE will often test you on finding common multiples shared by several numbers. Keeping this in mind, let's do a refresher on multiples and a special kind of multiple that the GRE loves, the least common multiple for two or more numbers. Let's start with plain and simple multiples. A multiple of a number is made by multiplying that number by any integer, and the least common multiple is the smallest number that is a multiple of all numbers in question. Technically, zero is the smallest multiple of any number, but when working with least common multiples, keep in mind that zero is not useful, because you got it. Any number times zero is zero. Let's look at the number 48. The prime factors of the least common multiple can be used to create any of the numbers that share that multiple. Sometimes it's easy enough to list out the first few multiples of the numbers and notice one in common. On the GRE, you may be asked to simply find the least common multiple of several numbers. Let's check out an example GRE problem. Our question reads, what is the least common multiple of 6, 12, and 24? The answer choices are 6, 8, 11, 12, and 24. Let's start with 6. We find that the first multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18, 24, and 30. The first multiples of 12 are 12, 24, 36, and 48. 24 has multiples of 24, 48, 72, and 96. We see 24 in each of these lists and that it's the smallest number that each of these lists share. So 24 is the least common multiple of 6, 12, and 24. The correct answer is 24. Now that was pretty straightforward, but as in life, things on the GRE are not always so simple. What if we're asked to find the least common multiple of two very large numbers? Things get a little more complicated, so let's devise a plan. Step 1. Define the required factors by prime factoring the given numbers. Step 2. Find the prime factors in both numbers and multiply together. And in case you need a refresher, prime factoring is the process of factoring to find only the prime numbers that make up the number. We're now ready to look at the problem. What is the least common multiple of 200 and 540? The answer choices are 240, 2400, 2800, 4220, and 5400. On our scratch paper, we can divide by low prime numbers to factor 200 into 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 times 5. Also, by dividing by low prime numbers, we can factor 540 into 2 times 2 times 5 times 3 times 3 times 3. To generate the least common multiple, we first identify what prime factors we need and then multiply them together. This is how we do it. First, we need all the prime factors of 200. 2, 2, 2, 5, and 5. Now let's look at the prime factors of 540 again. What prime factors do we need to add to the list for 200 to be able to make 540? We already have enough 2's and enough 5's, but we need 3 3's. So our full set of prime factors is 2, 2, 2, 5, 5, 3, 3, 3. Multiplying these together, we get the least common multiple of 200 and 540, 5,400. This makes the fifth answer choice the one to choose. Remember that when you're looking for the least common multiple of two or more numbers, you should count every number and be careful when you tally. That concludes our lesson on least common multiples. These special multiples will also be useful when working with fractions, so keep prepping and practicing.